Hello, it's Paul from FocusOnGuitar.com. Um, I'm here to give you a review, or my opinion, I should say, of the G7th Capo guitar capo, um, which I think is the best the money can buy. Here's one. Um, there you go. That's a close-up of it. It's uh, an absolutely astounding piece of uh, machinery. It's not like any other capo I've come across, which usually um, just have a spring, you clamp them on, you um, have to mess about generally, and um, this thing is absolutely brilliant. It's a one-handed operation, I'll show you, with the guitar. Right, all you do, it's got a little, uh, little lever at the back there, and when it closes, that lever locks into place. It's like a clutch and spring sort of system and that's it basically. So all you need to do is when you put it on the guitar neck, hold it in position and that's it. There you go. It's sort of clamped on. Now if you need to make it tighter, just squeeze it. That's all you have to do. When it comes to taking the thing off, all you do is flick the lever at the back and off it goes. And it's done again. So you can put it on one handed, or two handed actually, hold it down with your finger, flick it on, and it's done. Hold it again, or just do it one handed, take it off again, and there you go. Now, another good thing about this, um, it's a lot easier to manoeuvre than the ones that have got like a grip um, mechanism to hold them onto the neck. Now, like I say, if with this one, if you put it, like for instance, um, take that song. Patience is written in the key of what G. The first chord in it is a G minor seventh. Now, a G minor seventh. If you played, it's doing it that way. Now, if you wanted to play the Patience song using um, without a capo, you would have to play it sort of. That's why I'm playing it slow, actually. Yeah, now, for anybody that's not done a lot of playing, that those kind of positions will give you wrist ache very soon. Now, what you have to do, if you've got a capo, or capo, I should say, keep calling it a capo, you put it on the third fret instead. Hold it down, bump, there you go. And now, the positions you need to play the uh, the song in. A lot less stressful on the wrist, I think you'll agree. Um, and another thing, if you can hear, I've put that capo on and it's not because the neck on this guitar is quite a good one anyway, um, 20 years old this guitar by the way, in fact it's older than that, it's about 30, 30 years old, and the neck is quite good, but if you've got a cheaper guitar where the neck has got a little bit of, uh, it's a little bit out of alignment somewhere, sometimes when you put the capo on it can make the tuning worse, it can drag the uh, strings down and make them sharp or make them flat or whatever. Now with this one, a lot of the time, it's just, it won't pull the strings, you, you sort of put the, when you put the capo on, you just press down and it clamps across, whereas other ones will sort of pull the string down across the frets uh, and pull it sharp or flat, like I said. So, and a lot of the time you will need a capo to make um, sound authentic, like the James Blunt song. Um, we go. You're beautiful. Now then, when he plays it, he plays it in E flat. Now, if you're going to play E flat, let's see. If you put your capo on there at what the eighth fret, hold it down, clip it on, and you play an E flat that way. There you go. That's the first chord you want. Pause. It's not on. Now with other capos you can capo 
with other capos you pull it tighter and it may drag the string out of tune but this one all you do is on, on it, realign it actually squeeze it there you go it won't do it this time sound of the, the song. So all in all the G7 capo in my opinion is the best one you can buy. Um, so if you're in the market for one I suggest getting one of these. If you go to the website focusonguitar.com you can uh, have a look on there I've done a little bit of a review uh, and the best uh, and deals on eBay uh, are on there so you want to find one that's a little bit cheaper than the shops, you'll find one there. Yeah, just go to focusonguitar.com. Now, I paid about £25 for this, which you might think is quite expensive. Probably gone up actually because I've had it a few years, but in the long run, it's worth getting because it's the only one you'll need. So, okay, I'll uh, see you very soon. I'll be back with a song tutorial very soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.